What's that good word, gang? Matt here, Country Song Teacher. It's been a while since I've done a Tuesday talk. And, and God put some in my heart, so I thought I would share it with you all. Maybe you can benefit from it um, as well. And before you get all uh, upset, just teach guitar. Brooks teaching uh, the Bones, Marin Morris, tonight. So that would be better than anything I could do. Anyway, I want you to think about your time in this quarantine right now. And what can be your quarantine takeaways? My, my father and I were just talking about this. Often God will allow our circumstances, our environment, our whole setup to be shaken in order to kind of rattle our cage and make us reprioritize our things, our, our, our finances, our family, our fitness, um, our, our, our situation on our, our spiritual walk. Um, maybe you realize through all this, you need to take your health more serious. You need to eat better. You need to put an exercise program in place. And you got to start doing things different. Uh, maybe you realize, man, we've been spending so much money eating out. Now that we're at home every day, I realize we're able to save a lot of money not going to a restaurant every other night. Maybe it's, um, you used to say before, I never took time to read a book, to watch my favorite show, whatever it is. And now that you're kind of stuck at home, you realize, you know what? It's nice when I take time for myself kind of slow life down and do what something's important to me. Each of us have our own things. It doesn't matter if you're a kid, um, teenager, adult, college student, married, single, grandparent. We all have takeaways we can have from this quarantine. I want you to just really take time to reflect what are your quarantine takeaways personally. I, I, I'll tell you one of mine. I'm the kind of person, and a lot of my, my family members are like this, I feel like I always have to be producing. Even if I'm in bed, I'm thinking I should be tagging videos. I should be coming up with a business plan. I should be studying a self-help book. In my mind, I feel I'm wasting my life if I'm not always being productive. And you got to be careful about being that way because you can get so... I heard a quote one time that uh, busyness kills more Christians than, Christians than bullets ever did. If you're going to have a walk for the Lord, a lot of times... God speaks to you in the times, the slow times, the times you're waiting. And, and, and patience is not my greatest attribute, I'll be the first to say. Because I feel like I've got to be producing, got to be doing. Uh, maybe you all, maybe you guys, gals struggle with that, I don't know. But each of us, I promise you, can take away something from being stuck in your house for a month straight. You might not can take away now, maybe it's going to take you a week, two weeks, three weeks. But we can take away something from this crazy time. Maybe we don't. Maybe you you spent may, way too much time watching sports, reading about sports, and you're like, you're like with my kids, with my job, with my spiritual walk, looking at it in the big picture now that all the sports have been removed. Maybe I need to just not focus so much on my favorite college team, pro team, whatever it is. I don't know what it is for you. But think about that. What are your quarantine takeaways? Maybe you can help me out list below yours. We'll see if we can help build each other up. You guys have a great one. God bless you.